Lads, lads, and lassies, welcome back. Should I break up my chemistry set? Should I get my rocket? Well, I don't have any of those. But my name's Josh, and we are back with more Dr. Stone. Excuse the squeaky chair, it is an issue, I know. But it is not getting fixed anytime soon. Last episode, we had such an eye-opening episode. <sighs> we got to see more of Senku's dad. We saw him, like, very, very little, like, episode four or five, I think. And he was already such an incredible guy. You know, he sold his car, got his son a whole bunch of science and chemistry sets because his son was just so in love with it. And then we see that his son paid back the favor at the tender age of like nine-ish. He built a suit to help his dad swim. And he helped his dad become an astronaut just like he always wanted. And then the dad went off into space with some of his friends. No, not friends, but like crewmates? Yeah, crewmates, his... Um, co-workers kind of it was the international space station lots of blondes which explains why the village that senku's in now has quite a few blondes in there that's because well of the seven billion people on earth those five or six were the only ones spared of the petrification process who they still don't know why it happened but they got a front row seat of the green just enveloping the earth and they have so many they have as many questions as I do and I really hope that this episode just goes into them building the village I, I just want to see them going and creating the origins of what modern-day society is for Senku I mean I'm pretty sure we just met Rui's and uh, Kohaku's great 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 etc 3,000 years grandmother They've been passing down this story for generations, thousands of years. I really just want to see... I had a theory. I had a theory that uh, Senku's dad found Senku and moved him to a place where he thought might uh, depetrify him. We'll see if that theory comes true. But if you want to see like more in-depth thoughts of that theory, you can go check out the last episode's discussion. But for right now, I'm going to go right into this episode because... Uh, <laughs> Dr. Stone, man, this show just keeps getting better and better. Let's do this, lads. <sighs> starting with the starting the petrification process. Look there, outside the window. That's the sun, right? Like, am I missing something? Is that supposed to be like not a spaceship? But that is the sun, correct? I can't move. I don't feel anything. If I'm aware enough to realize that much, then my brain must still be working at 10 billion percent capacity. There what the be a heck delay happened? Between the average timestamps of the last posts on social media, like Twitter or Instagram. Oh my God! They're thinking they're the same. Calculate backwards. Wow. It looks like it started in South America. Since South America. Wave spread out radially from there. But I can't take any credit. Interesting. For my son Senku told me about using this method many times. Ah. Uh... Now that it's time to go. I'm gonna save you. You and all seven billion other humans. Did. Oh my God! They're just like it's like father and son. I mean, they are father and son, but they're just—they're exactly the same. I really had a chance to read the lyrics of this song. I like the song. I like the lyrics. I think the first OP is better, though. Maybe it's just recency, but not recency, but maybe it's just like bias. Go somewhere far from the source. Japan's the opposite side of Earth from South America. That's why they chose Japan. Like radiation, you need to stay away from it. There's two pods, three seats each. Which means three of us need to take the plunge. Sorry, but I guess I'll need two more to come with me. Or not. Oh. Oh. They're not gonna let him be the test subject. And you've got a son, don't you, old man? A mission like this is meant for a loner. Someone like me. What was the Frenchman's name? I think you've got nine hours of air. Yeah. But then, that will be the end of our lives. Five, six, seven. <sighs> Count these insane numbers and keep track of the date. This is the worst case scenario. scenario. So I have to seize my one chance. We have to go down there. We can find the boat and get them. And where do we find the key to start this boat? Are we going to search thousands of stone pockets for Hot it? Hotwire The closest continent. Do you really think we can land perfectly on some island? We could be off by 10 kilometers. 10 kilometers is nothing. I can <laughs> swim a distance like that. Even fully clothed, if that's what it's going to take. Thank you, Senku. <laughs> <laughs> na, 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 na
You can feel the music in the air. Why are you singing? I just said to calm your breathing. Does she see the raft? Yeah. Look at those muscles. Oh. I mean, it's nowhere near the old man's, but sheesh. So how far did he row? There might be survivors on this island. Hmm. No. That's that's a petrified man. Head everywhere. Why don't we start by figuring out dinner? Oh, I know any any <laughs> any deer on the island? I saw a farm nearby. Hey, sounds perfect. The team's counting on you here, Connie. Okay. Uh, don't send her alone, though. You don't know what's on the. Uh, I guess they don't. I'll. Uh, hey, yeah. <laughs> Congrats on your marriage, Connie and <laughs> He does not look amused. <laughs> oh, I get to hear the Diva Lillian perform Lucky Me. <laughs> I love this group of people. How much we've changed. We should listen Alcoholic to dad. the truth. The music composed by so many geniuses over thousands of years. It's all gone. Mozart, the Beatles, all of them. It's just now hitting me that we're gonna lose every piece. Ah, find those records. Find those CDs. Vacation someday. Keep them safe. Isn't over. Because if nothing else, I know that Senku is still alive. We aren't related by blood, but he's my kid. Oh. Plus, he's ten billion times the man I'll ever be. He wouldn't let some rocks do him in. Maybe we won't. Oh, he's so ourselves. right. But that makes the relationship even better. Figure it out. That's why he didn't move him. He'll save everyone, all seven billion people on Earth. <laughs> okay, so my theory's kind of thrown out the window. He's gonna need some friends to help him, so we'll pass along the baton. <sighs> Thousands of years into the future. Dang. But it's such a crazy story that I'm completely lost. Senku right. understands. So a few thousand years ago, but Senku's dad and five others survived because they were up in the sky when it happened. And they're all descendants of them. All of us here in Ishigami Village are actually descendants of those six people. Hold on. That raises the question. Are we all related to Senku? <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, they are legally father and son, but not by blood. Besides, oh, okay. Yeah, no, they're not. Of generations apart. No one's related after that much time. You know, the, the build-up to get here is a lot of inbreeding, I think. But... Oh, there's Gaston. <laughs> You go, old man. No, I'm fine. You don't have to worry about this outsider. I don't care if you're from here or not. Get in there and drink your heart out. Oh, man. they want him in. Hang on. You've taken your risks. Now we'll return the favor. But if we don't make it back, take care of the kids. They probably didn't make it back. So soon. <coughs> oh, he caught it too. It was only pneumonia. Damn it! Senku cured. Well, that's new. What ailed you them look all? Usually glum. You old men. In the end, I had fun. <laughs> Since humanity ah, had already made it to space, we were lucky enough to survive. The day that humanity was turned to stone. I really liked that ramen. Remember? That packet of ramen I had up in space was so unbelievably good. Ah. It was almost hilarious. Yeah, humanity's gonna make a comeback someday. Well, they're not eating ramen in space, but they're eating ramen back on Earth. We'll want a story about minerals, too. Someone might come along who takes an interest in rocks and comes Ah, them. chrome! So They'll be useful to have around. Those shoes, man. 
Those shoes. Hey there, Senku. If you're listening to this story, it means you've broken out of the stone. <laughs> Maybe thousands of years from now. Just as promised, I got you some souvenirs. The friends that the Hundred Tales will connect you with. But with Man. your science and the help of your new friends, I know you'll make the world as fun as it was before the collapse. Anime to an anime thing. This fight. I know that you can do it. <sighs> so that was thousands of years ago now, huh? Dang. Back when I was still alone in the dark. I'd probably be royally screwed without your souvenirs. Oh That's yeah, you would. I'd gladly <laughs> accept them. Man. The offer, but I'm strictly a cola man. Well, let's hear it then, mentalist. What have you got? Sukasa is coming. Sukasa Empire. Oh man! Another great episode from Doctor Star. I think these were like two of the best episodes of the series. Well, that was a really good origin story. It's crazy to think how the village we have now is because of. There's six people and their four kids. And Senku's dad was the last one. Man. I wonder why they never decided to move to the mainland of Japan. It's and they kept the island. I guess it's easier to raise the kids in a more secluded area. They knew it, they mapped it out, they had the farm there. But I do wonder why they never explored until it was way too late uh, for the antibiotics to pneumonia. And I just love how poetic it is. Like, pneumonia took out um, at least two of them. I don't know if his, like his, um, his wife died very early on like she was still really young so maybe pneumonia took her too it might have taken him um uh, take his dad but i just love that the poetic justice of it of pneumonia they couldn't create they couldn't find the cure to pneumonia then but senku was able to beat what took them all out of course with the help of the souvenirs that his dad brought with him or well, yeah, his dad, but I was not expecting there to be, uh, we're not related by blood. So, Senku is, he's probably, because we never met his mom. So it's either Senku's adopted, or he's, um, like, his mom and his dad got together. as his, like, stepdad. I don't know. Did I miss something? Uh, maybe they'll explain it, maybe they won't, doesn't really matter, but just the fact that they're not related by blood just makes their relationship so much stronger. Like, everything that Sanku's done for him just makes that much more special. Because it's not like, oh yeah, he's my dad, so I have to... Like, no, I choose him to be my dad. So I will do everything I can for him. And then just the unconditional love that Sanku's dad... However, he ended up getting Senku. It's that unconditional love of, he's not even my son by blood. I will still sell my car for him. I will do everything I can to help him do what he wants. <sighs> love this show. I love this show so much. These past two episodes of the origins of the village. It's so good. The Frenchman, I love that group of astronauts. The Frenchman refusing to let, uh, just refusing to let Ishigami go first. He's like, ah, we don't know what'll happen. You have a son. This is me this is meant for people that are single and don't have any like relationships. They, they, you, they, this is meant for people that don't have anything left to, uh, to go back to. All right, if we bite the dust. At least, at least we'll end up just, at, le at least, like, we're not going to be, no one's going to miss us. I just love that, 
It's a Senku and Senku's dad. Senku gets a lot from his dad. Like, his dad was willing to t bite the bullet. They didn't know if they would turn into stone if they went back to Mars. Or Mars. Went back to Earth. They didn't know. They weren't landing uh, with mission control, so it was all by themselves. Um, and Senku's dad was still the first one to suit up and say, I'm going alone. Senku did this. It keeps doing the same thing. With um, Tsukasa when he was uh, threatening... Oh, it's been so long. I feel so bad, but it's been so long since I've ever used these characters' names. Uh, Yuzumiha, when uh, Tsukasa was threatening Suzumiha, Yuzumiha, um, Senku stepped in, sacrificed himself uh, with the uh, poison, the sulfur lake. Senku was just willing to be the only one to go, sacrifice it all. And his dad also learned from Senku. You know, the, the computer program he did for the to find out the origin-ish of the petrification wave. He got that from Senku. I just love that they're also thinking on the same brain wave of Senku going like, alright, where did this where could this have gone? Or Senku can't figure it out, but I like that he's trying to rationalize it. And then like his dad is also figuring just like, alright, if wherever the like this wave started, um like Twitter, Instagram and all that that's what, uh, where the wave started first, that's where, that's where the oldest notifications would be. Starting in South America. I'll get to that later, but the Frenchman, just loved his mini arc of, like, fun is not something that humans need for survival. And then at the end, on his deathbed, he's like, nope, I was wrong. That ramen was so ridiculously good. I'm pretty sure he's French. But yeah, that run was so ridiculously good, it was laughable. And then, at the, ultimately, even with the end of the world, he still managed to have fun. Found a wife that he never thought he would ever find. And he had some kids. That was something that he never thought would happen. And he realized at that moment, fun was something essential for the human survival. I feel so bad for the, the couple. The Russian couple? I, I call them the Russian couple, I don't really know. I feel so bad for them. They went out to see... To go to the mainland to get antibiotics. Didn't happen. And they probably just got capsized. They went out in a very stormy... Very stormy waters. It's like another question like this, it kind of goes closely, like, why didn't they ever go to the mainland before? And like when there was clear days, man, I just I really loved the chemistry of this group. It's very lucky that there were six of them, because if there was five, if there was a one one odd man out, one odd woman out, that would suck. <laughs> it was the perfect six. That just sucks. About the the the. the the couple kind of just died off screen, but it's pretty realistic as to what potentially could have happened. Man. I talked about the not related by blood. But yeah, the Frenchman. I, he went from someone who was like, oh, alright, he's like in the cast, to like, I respect you. I respect this man a lot. Looking out for Senku's dad's best interest. Even though, like, Ishigami is just perfectly fine with. Letting it be. Like, like I'll be the one. I'll be the one. No one else has to come with me. If I turn the stone, then at least you guys are safe. Just love that. The Frenchman's the one. The one that doesn't care. The one that seems that he doesn't care is the one that cares the most. The passing on of the baton. I'm gonna have to look back at that to see the, the tree. But that was such a great moment. Like, I did bring souvenirs, and these souvenirs are the friends that are going to help you restart civilization. I just love the absolute faith his dad has in him. And he's 100% correct. Or he's 10 billion percent correct. Senku was the one to wake up to restart it all. And then I, I, that does mean, I'm pretty sure it means that Senku is the first human to break out of his petrification 
my theory of Senku's dad um, going to Japan, figuring out like, oh, maybe it needs uh, the alcohol and the vinegar or whatever, uh, the guano. It's like, I, I theorize that he moved Senku to the trees to try and help him break out. But it looks like that was just all the, um, like, the earth moving around and all that, tidal waves and stuff. I thought my theory was going to be, yeah, he, like, I found Senku, this is my theory, let's put him under here and hopefully he'll break out eventually, but it just hit complete and absolute faith that, yeah, he will one day break out. It could be, it could be a year from now, hundred years from now, thousands of years from now, but Senku will break out and he will restart humanity. Not even a single, not a single doubt in his mind about that. And he's out there just giving his best. Giving Senku the best chance he can have. Raising those kids, giving them the stories. And that final message he gave to him, like, the souvenirs, and like, I believe in you, you can do it. It's making me tear up. I was on the verge. I just love it in media, TV, whenever, like, dead characters, like, speaking. Uh, they're like not speaking their final like someone is speaking to some dead character's final words and then like the you can see the character behind and just, <sighs> I love it. <sighs> this is such a great episode. I mean like I wrote one thing of a gin in, which is the villagers they're so like, oh no, you can't have any outsiders, they're so dangerous, and now they're like, nah, nah, again, come in, again is like trying to hold on to the outsiders, they're like, nah, get in here, man. But Gin was a harbinger, he was a messenger, Tsukasa coming, Tsukasa still doesn't know Senku's alive, but he's coming to conquer, and this village, I mean, they have Kohaku? They have Magma, who seems to be, or I thought Magma was going to be something like, Oh, I'm, I'm drifting off away now. I've been, I've been beaten. Oh, so terrible. I'm gonna go join Sukasa, or Sukasa's Sukasa is gonna find me, and then I'm gonna join him. But no, it seems like Magma's still in the village, as well as, well as uh, not Gaston. Magma is Gaston, as well as his Lafu. So I guess they do have some brawn, and then the the brothers, um, they have, what's his name? They have uh, Kinro. They have Kinro. They have quite the sizable, not the sizable army, but they have a skilled army, which could be better than, well, depending on how many Tsukasa has. The skilled few can be better than, like, a ha like a handful of just people that are, might look strong. But Tsukasa is also skilled in his own way, so Tsukasa is going to be a big boss to fight. And Senku is just, he just seems excited, he's like, oh yeah, the time has begun for war, the war arc is here! Yeah, we're gonna go into, you're gonna get into like some, we're gonna get into a war, and Senku is very behind. Where are the mechs, Senku? Where are the mechs? You promised me mechs! <laughs> so it's gonna be interesting to see what Senku's gonna do to build his army, his fortification to fight off Tsukasa. He does have his inside people. He has Yuzumiha and uh, Taiju in there with him. But we haven't seen them at all. So maybe Tsukasa is keeping a very close leash on them. Or he has them captured. I don't think they've turned. I would be very surprised if they did. I just doubt it. Um, I'm just throwing that out there. But yes, Senku has got some catching up. He's got to make... He has to make some some weapons now. I mean, we saw some swords in the intro. I don't know how well those will do against Tsukasa, seeing as he can move faster than a crossbow bolt. But swords seem nice. Swords seem very nice. What about a gun? <laughs> Where is the gunpowder, Senku? Where is the gunpowder? But yeah, no, Senku has a lot of work ahead of him. You know, he just became the chief, and he has he can't rest. He cannot rest. And the divorce went through. The divorce did go through. Luckily for Senku, very luckily for Chrome, probably luckily for Ruby too. So that now Chrome and Ruby. Yeah. And the only last thing, I mean like, 
Yeah, the only last thing I have here is that it originated in South America. What does that mean? And Japan, so it originated in South America, and Japan was the furthest place from the origin point. So what were they doing in South America? Are we going to end up going to South America at one point in this show? That would be, that would be pretty cool. Like, Senku builds a, just, just becomes one piece, Senku builds a boat. They always like sail the seven seas all the way to South America to see what the heck happened. That would be interesting. But Senku's whole thing of reviving everyone, uh, that's gonna, that's gonna be terrible. Cause in those, not flashbacks, but in like that, those like sort of, oh yeah, those people that we see in stone, there are people that are literally molded into a mountain. Some of them are like waist deep, some of them are head first. Like when, if they revive or could they be revived or are they dead? I don't know. But I, I just have so many more questions, but I'm so satisfied with the answers that we got. Senku's dad, man. What a great, this is like Dilf of the year. Whenever this came out, this is Dilf of the year. I'm gonna regret saying that because there's probably gonna be like, a, this was like the year of the Dilfs, but. Such a great character. Man, I love this show so much. I need to see the next episode. We need to begin the Stone Wars. So lads, lads, and lassies, if you want to see my reaction to that, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment down below. Uh, for people that watched this live, I believe it came out in like 2019, 2018, was Senku's dad dope of the year? Or just tell, what, what did you think of this episode? How, like, when you first watched this, how, like, eye-opening was this to, like, the lore, the world-building, the expansion of Dr. Stone's world? You can tell me all that in the comments below. I'll see you next week for more Dr. Stone.